The world is changing rapidly here in the 21st century. There are problems we need to face in terms of diseases of animals and humans. There are environmental issues, global climate change, things of that sort. Expectations of society are changing. And the scientific disciplines and the techniques you need to be successful in these have changed quite a bit as well. I'm Chuck Saprinsky, professor in the Department of Pathobiological Sciences in the School of Veterinary Medicine here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'm also chair of the Academic Committee of the Comparative Biomedical Sciences Graduate Program. I'm also director of a training grant that provides support for some of the students in the graduate program. And I'm director of the Food Research Institute located in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences here at UW-Madison. Students who come into our program have curiosity about science in general and want to undertake advanced training in a PhD program in the biomedical sciences. Our program, being quite flexible, is one that's attractive to many students. We also have a great breadth of training opportunities in our program. We have more than 70 trainers located in various schools and colleges on campus. So students who enter the program can engage in research training programs in infectious diseases, pharmacology, toxicology, respiratory neurobiology, and an array of other scientific uh, disciplines here on campus. Our program operates largely in what you might call a direct admit system. So when we enroll students in the program, they arrange with a faculty member to serve as their mentor. And that faculty mentor takes the responsibility of providing the support for the stipend and the research supplies of that student. So many of the research programs that are uh, faculty and students undertake have a broader impact that goes beyond the walls of the university. Uh, for example, the work on influenza done by Yoshi Kuoka and his students is world-renowned in terms of addressing the challenges we face there. Other people are involved in various infectious disease studies, studies of better ways to uh, attack cancer, to deal with uh, problems in ophthalmology, orthopedic research. There's a wide array of problems here and Many of the uh, research projects that our students and trainers undertake help provide solutions to improve animal and human health. The program has a proud tradition of training people to enter leadership positions in academia, industry, and government, and there are many examples of this. We've had at least eight deans of schools and colleges of veterinary medicine who have been alumni of the program. Uh, we also have many faculty members at other uh, institutions and quite a few faculty members here in, in the current school. Uh, we also have people who have gone into industry and have done quite well. Some have gone on to be entrepreneurs. The University of Wisconsin is one of the great universities of the world and one of the best places anywhere to pursue graduate study. I think a student who comes here would benefit from the great breadth and depth in the biological sciences and would gain uh, expertise and experiences here that would be difficult to match at any other institution. The one medicine philosophy is something that we embrace in the Comparative Biomedical Sciences graduate program because of the array of problems and training programs that our faculty and students are involved in. Uh, we get involved in uh, various issues related to both human and animal health. No longer can one just focus in one disciplinary area and be successful as a scientific researcher. You need a broad array of experiences and perspectives to bring to bear on any particular problem.